You can never cross the ocean until you have courage to lose sight of the shore. Christopher Columbus COVID has closed most everything down on a Friday in the Bahamas, but we're still able to rent our car on Monday, so we're off to explore the island from the Columbus Monument at the north end to as far south as Clarence Town. Here we go. Dee is back driving on the wrong side of the road again, but seems to be doing a great job. We head straight up to the monument first thing in the morning. It's a breezy day and the sun can't decide, but the view from the monument is stunning. Bahamas Geotourism site describes the area of Long Island as the third island discovered by Christopher Columbus in 1492. Columbus described Long Island as the most beautiful island in the Bahamas, and this monument was erected by Long Islanders on top of the white cliffs, sinking down into the various shades of blue water. The Flying and Traveling website expands on this description. History lovers will cherish a visit to Columbus Cove and Monument as a chance to walk in the same steps that Columbus made as he passed through Long Island, Bahamas on the way to discovering the New World. The Columbus Monument and Columbus Cove on Long Island, Bahamas is thought to have been Christopher Columbus's third stop on his way to the New World in 1492. After San Salvador and Rum Key, the indigenous Arawak people who lived on the island before Columbus came had named the island Uma from their language. After his arrival here, Columbus renamed the island Fernandina. The Columbus Monument sits up on the top of a prominent rugged cliff line where large waves rolling in and battering the rocks far beneath it. From the tops of the cliffs near the monument, you can often feel a stiff breeze and taste the salty sea air on your lips. It's easy to picture Columbus sailing into the cove, anchoring his ship with relief within its calm waters and tentatively stepping onto unfamiliar land. The exploration and discovery of the new world was just beginning. In the minds of those first brave explorers, the island was still filled with unknowns and possible danger. Were there dangerous wild animals, fierce natives waiting to attack? Columbus referred to the Bahamas as Bahamar, which is Spanish for shallow water. We call it Bahamas today which is the phonetic version of its original name.
we decided to follow the road past the Columbus Monument, turn to the very end, which was not that much further, and landed into the parking area of the Broken Bridge Bar and Grill. I don't think the bridge is broken anymore. And of course, with COVID, the bar was closed. But we wandered around and took some pictures of this unique bar with a spectacular view. Looking back now, we probably should have jumped in for a snorkel. So we just left the Columbus Monument and came all the way to the end of the Queens Highway. And of course, with the COVID-19 shut down here in the Bahamas, all the bars and restaurants were shut down. But we came across this cool place that we wish we could buy beer. But um, that's extremely nice walking bridge. Right now, that good. doesn't go anywhere. And no one to ask. Because <laughs> no one's out here. You know where, what the plan is here. But it is a cool little area. Just goes back to a little like estuary area. And then we can't really see this, but I'm imagining around this point, it opens up into the Atlantic. And you can walk out here and see the, the lookout. He's ahead of me already. Oh, yep, there it is. Oh, and looks, oh, we're getting so much wind in here too. We are now moved over to the windward side of the islands. So we're here. This is the Busted Bridge. Could be the name of this place. Very cool. Oh wow, look at the rock out there. Let's zoom in on that. That is really cool. Beautiful place. Uh, sadly, we cannot like us even just stumbling into this. But this is the end of the Queens Highway on Long Island. Literally. Flying and traveling describes the north end of the island as those with an adventurous spirit will enjoy being awash in untouched natural beauty waiting to be explored. Jagged cliffs and big waves adorn the northeast side of the island. The southwest side has a more relaxed demeanor with its calmer waves and long stretches of inviting and empty beaches, including the stunning Cape Santa Maria Beach. We had read that the sand on Santa Maria Beach was some of the whitest and softest we would ever see, and this beach did not disappoint. We had also explored this place as an anchorage, and in our pictures you can catch a glimpse of Sava, who we would later meet in Thompson Bay. We didn't make it up there, but they told us the fishing and lobstering was great in this little cove. After our walk on the beach, we are headed to the Adderley Plantation Remains to continue our history lesson of Long Island, Bahamas. <laughs>